We've all been following Riverdale ever since its first episode aired in 2017. Well, we've been keeping up with the memes at least. And how can we forget the Riverdale not making sense for 10 minutes YouTube videos? What a time to be alive. But now it looks like all of that is coming to an end as the series is getting cancelled. To know more details about the cancellation, let's dive in. First up, CW announces Riverdale's cancellation. We're not gonna lie, the cancellation did come as a surprise because at this point it looked like Riverdale would be one of those shows that never ends. And also, because only a few months ago the renewal of the show had been announced, but it looks like they've reconsidered their decision, and now the seventh season will be the last one of the series. CW released an official statement in which they wrote, the CW's hit Riverdale will end with its seventh and final season, bringing the saga of sexy former teens and sexier murders to a sure-to-be explosive finish. The news was just announced in advance of the CW's upfront presentation and executive call. Sexy teens and sexier murders. Guess we know where Riverdale gets its cringe dialogues from now. Next up, Riverdale bought talks about the final season. The CW Network boss, Roberto Aguirre Sacasa, confirmed the cancellation himself and called it bittersweet. He did mention that he was glad that he got the opportunity to work on the beloved Archie comic series and bring them to life, despite completely changing the original story. Riverdale was supposedly a dark adaptation of the comics, but no one could have expected that to include Betty and Archie to develop superpowers, the town of Riverdale to be terrorized by the Black Hood, and also the Gargoyle King, and also us having to hear Veronica call Archie Archiekins each episode. Be right back. Cringing. Roberto talked about how he never imagined the comic series to be this dark and twisted and to resonate with the audience. We're not sure if it resonated with us, but sure was twisted. We'll agree with that. He also revealed that the next season will most probably be airing in the next year, and the fans should prepare themselves for an epic finale. Aguirre Sikasa further reflected on how important the show has been for him, and how it's changed not only his life and career, but also for many actors in the show. For some actors, it was their big breakthrough moment, while for some, it was their debut. You can call the series whatever you want, but you have to admit you do know about the actors now because of it. Many actors, like Camilla, who plays Veronica, and Lily Reinhardt, who plays Betty, also got to work on other projects after they worked in Riverdale. He stated that the actors were grateful for this opportunity. And then, the actors' reaction to the cancellation. Despite Roberto's claim that the actors were grateful for the opportunity, a lot of them have expressed their annoyance with the show plenty of times. With there being compilations of Lily Reinhardt openly hating on the show, it looks like we're not the only ones seeing what a cringe fest it is. Reinhardt has openly expressed her hatred for the show's writing and also its fans. Sounds harsh, we know, but once you see her side of the story, her reaction actually seems really normal. Imagine getting harassed for every little thing you do. The show's fans called her a homophobe for not shipping Betty and Veronica and also had an unhealthy obsession with her relationship with Cole Sprouse. With them constantly commenting on their relationship, she ended up lashing out at them and calling them a cesspool for evil 15-year-olds who have nothing better to do. Yikes. The show has also been called out by two actresses for the poor representation of black women. Vanessa Morgan, who plays Tony, commented on how tired she is of black people being portrayed as thugs or being used as sidekicks for white leads. She also called the show out for not paying her equally as the other regulars on the show. Cole Sprouse, who plays Jughead, has also implied many times that the acting on the show is really bad. He also talked about the famous weirdo scene, which we're sure you've seen in memes. If that isn't a testament to Riverdale's terrible and unbelievable writing, we don't know what is. Sprouse agreed, as in a Buzzhead interview, he stated that his character does have some cringe boy moments. As if all of that wasn't enough, he also stated that he doesn't like his couple, Bughead, in the show. Well, given that that's the ship name, we don't blame you, Cole. Many actors have commented several times how they're ready to move on from the show, with Sprouse stating in a GQ interview that the cast is ready to wrap it up with a bow. Reinhardt also claimed in a recent Instagram Live that season 7 will be the final one, and we can imagine just how relieved she is with all the bullying she's had to endure during this time. Despite everything, we're actually really excited to see what the final season has in store for us. If anything, the show does manage to keep us on our toes because just like the actors in the show, we literally don't know what to expect from it. Now in other related news, first up, KJ Appa debuts a new haircut. Looks completely unrecognizable. Looks like KJ Appa is already ready to move on from his redhead character as he just posted an Instagram picture that shows a completely different look. The picture shows KJ with a buzz cut and honestly, we're obsessed with the new look. We can just imagine imagine what a hassle it has been for him, dyeing his hair red every other week. He talked about it in an interview as well, and said if there's one thing he isn't going to miss is the bleaching and re-dyeing. Looks like the buzz cut is a fresh start for him, and we're here for it. But this new look wasn't just a random choice. It's actually for his upcoming action-adventure movie about motorcycle racing called One Fast Move. We're excited to see him in this role, especially since he looks so fine. And then, the flash to come to an end with season 9. Looks like Riverdale isn't the only season coming to an end on the CW network.
Network. It was confirmed recently that the ninth season will be the last one for the series, The Flash. The network confirmed that the final season will be a short one, with only 13 episodes. After the end of their long-running series, Supernatural, The Flash had become the face of the network. Since its debut in 2014, it had instantly become the network's most-watched series and was popular amongst fans. The end of this show also marks an end of an era for DC fans, so we can imagine how emotional this is for them. Eric Wallace, the head writer of seasons 5 and 6 of the show, gave a statement on the finale and said that the journey of the show has been a memorable one. He went on to thank the cast, producers, crew, and writers for their hard work and for making the experience so unforgettable. Even though the show is a much-loved one, the decision for it to end did not really come as a surprise. That's because the ratings haven't been as great as they were in the beginning seasons. Don't get us wrong, the show was still doing better than other shows on the network, as it had over 1 million viewers every week and was actually the most streamed show on the network. But despite that, the decision for the next season to be its final one was taken. The production of the final season is set to begin next month, and if all goes according to schedule, we will be watching it in early 2023. It's an end of an era, but also the beginning of a new one at CW Network. And finally, Cole Sprouse directs the Canada Goose FW22 campaign. If you're a diehard fan of Cole Sprouse, you'd know that he's also an extremely talented director and photographer, with most of the Riverdale cast heading into different directions. As the series prepares to come to an end, it looks like Sprouse is also stepping foot in different projects. His most recent one is the campaign for Canada Goose, but he isn't modeling in it. In fact, he is the director of the campaign. The video and photographs capture the company's ethos of live in the open by showing relationships with nature and a connection with the environment. The video showcases the brand's new collection, which shows puffer boots along with some lightweight apparel. Inspired by the open skies, natural elements, and mountains, the earthy tones of the clothes really add to the entire experience of the campaign. Sprouse had the opportunity to talk about his vision behind the campaign. He explained that the days of man versus nature are over, and our generation's main concern now is to live in harmony with nature. The campaign talks about how we interact with our environment, and with the ethos of the company so well aligned with what the generation stands for, Cole had a great time shooting the campaign. He explained that he really enjoyed capturing the Canadian wilderness and celebrating the honesty of the brand. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think about the news of Riverdale's cancellation? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.